Hi everybody, this is Oren with another 4 minute tutorial. Today we're going to cover compression on Adobe CS5, although this works for previous versions of Adobe as well. Compression is a way to increase the volume of the low areas, the low volume areas, and decrease the volume of the peaking areas so that the volume level overall is more even. So let's take a listen to this interview that was recorded. When it comes to pricing in the DJ industry, you'll find that... Okay, first thing we could tell off the bat, the level is pretty low overall. We don't have anything hitting the top and bottom. So we're going to go ahead and increase the uh, audio gain. Now, on this clip, where we don't have a lot of noise, as you can tell by this section, Am I we don't need to worry about noise reduction. Normally, if you are going to do any kind of compression, you'd probably want to tackle your noise reduction first, because when you bring up all the levels, you're bringing up the noise as well as the signal. So we're going to go ahead and right-click Audio Gain, and it's telling me that I'm about 5 dB down, about 6 dB down, so I'm going to normalize the peaks. Brings them all up. Let's listen to it. My opinion. You'll find the bottom end where it could be people who... Okay, sounds a lot better, although you could see that when we hit these high peak areas at the beginning of a sentence or beginning of a thought, it starts off nice and strong. The bottom end... Where and then it trails down quite quickly. Where it could be people who just... So that's the whole purpose of compression is to even out these spikes. So we're going to go up to our effects, type in dynamics, and this is a mono signal. We're going to drag our filter flip it open here and what we want to concentrate on for the time being is the compressor so you have a few controls here uh, threshold is first and foremost is where you want the action to start where the compression takes place uh, so it sets your level your minimum level so we're gonna go to about minus 18 DB for this clip uh, you'll have to play around with your own clips to see where it's best suited Ratio is always expressed as a number x to 1. Right now it's at 1.86 to 1. Um, for every 1.86 uh, decibel volume increase, it's going to only increase your output level by 1 dB. We want that a little bit higher. Anywhere between 2 and 3 is probably a good place to start. Uh, most commercials and musicians compress at about a 3 to 1 ratio. Now, whenever you compress a signal, you're going to drop the volume. So the makeup down here will add to that level that you took away. We're just going to start at around 6 and see how it sounds first. So let's play it back. Find the bottom end where it could be people who just do it as a hobby. Okay, so you notice that even in the low areas over here that were before hovering below minus 18, they're much higher now. They're between minus 12 and minus 6. So that's a good overall level. We can bring it up a little bit more if we want. Find the bottom end where it could be people who just do it as a hobby. So I think we're done with this clip, and uh, I'll sign off, and thank you for joining me on this tutorial.